Here we go, back again with another video. I did say I would come back on tonight and tell you who won the PSG shirt from the correct score competition last night. And we'll update that later on today and tell you who's gone into the hat later on in the video. But first of all, let's move on to last night's game. Yes, last night's game, before the game started, we all know that Ross Stewart pulled out with a hamstring, so your thigh injury before the game started, which basically... Upset the whole of the apple cart according to Tony Mowbray with the whole team situation. We all know what a massive miss Ross Stewart would have been. And I did a video previously on about how we must keep Ross Stewart. Not thinking for one second that we'd lose him the next day to an injury. And the injury could be between 4 and 12 weeks. 4 to 12 weeks. Now, I've been trying to find out of different various sources what kind of situation it is with Ross Stewart. But basically, the only thing I can get back is Stewart's doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So it's going to be a long-term, I think, a long-term injury. When we say long-term, I'm, so, I'm thinking maybe 6 to 12 weeks. We're going to miss Ross Stewart on worst-case scenario, which means we have a gap in the team. And how do we fill that gap? Because as we seen last night, playing two number 10s with Sims up top didn't really work. And there wasn't much difference, to be honest, between the two teams. Middlesbrough were just as bad as Sutherland, to be fair. One bit of magic from the Berra scored the goal, or one bit of slack defending from Sunland helped towards the goal, which was the difference between two, two teams. Now, I thought Sunland. You know, we were our, 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 own, our own downfall, to be fair. We couldn't pass the ball very well. We didn't have the finer killer ball with shock and some of Clark's passes into the boxes. I don't know what he was looking at. He was putting the ball high, wide and extremely unhandsomely over the top. It was awful. It's had one of those bad nights, didn't he? But it was all over the park. Gucci's balls in the box weren't that great. And a lot of passing midfield from Evans and Neil did go astray. So all all round team performance for me, I have to give Patterson was probably just shaded as man of the match. Now the difference between the two sides, I do think if Ross Stewart had started last night, we would have won that game of football. I do believe we would have won that game of football. But what are we gonna do without Ross Stewart in the next six weeks? Who do we bring in? For me, two number 10s isn't, the, isn't what we need to have two up front, don't we? We need to go back to trying the system that we've been playing with Ross Stewart. Ross Stewart brings so much more to the team than just a goal scorer. He's up and down, he's everywhere. He's an absolute machine, a machine of a player. And I, I personally am devastated we've lost him. You know, we, we can't afford... When, when we've got the squad that Sunderland's got, and we'll see a squad, we're trying to bring in young players and try to nurture them, grow them into the team. We can't afford many injuries. Unfortunately, we've lost Ballard, who's just came in. We've lost Ross Stewart. And also, Dennis Serkin came off with a hamstring problem. Now, Ross Stewart's hamstring popped. So his thigh popped. So it was a little bit of a tear. Where Dennis Serkins was more of an ache, a dull ache. So that one might not be as bad. That might be just one to two weeks on the best case scenario for Dennis Serkins. But again, he will not be available for Millwall. I would be amazed if Dennis Serkins is available for Millwall. We can't afford to, to, to lose Dennis Serkins for long term. Because Niall Huggins won't be seen until after Christmas. We probably won't see Niall Huggins anywhere near the first team until after Christmas. And now we're left with Luke 1 9, Bart and Wright as the three centre backs with only a Lessie. A Lessie that could actually come in and fit in. Then we down to the youngsters because we put Winchester out on loan. He's the only other player that's kind of sort of been at centre back. This is where we needed another centre back bringing in. But hopefully, Serkin won't be out as long. But if up front, we only have the likes of. We have Roberts. We have Clark who can fit in there, but for me, it's not the answer. Do we take a risk with some of the young lads, some of the young the lads who have just come in? Diallo came on last night. We have Bennett. Bennett, who plays for Costa Rica as, as the number nine or, or even up further up top, scored goals for Costa Rica. Will he be too, will it be too soon for Bennett to come in? Or do we change it all around completely just to have one striker up top? It's one hell of a conundrum. We need to bounce back against Millwall. We do. We need to bounce back. Millwall have their own problems. Now, we'll be doing a, a preview for the Millwall game tomorrow. Now, Dennis Serkin, it does say 
that circum where's that there it does say circum still needs full examination but doesn't look a bad and we'll have, we'll have a better idea tomorrow we'll have a better idea tomorrow so there we go then a circum hopefully is not as bad this is where strength and depth comes in if we had the strength and depth another striker and another centre back you know we'd still miss those two players 100% but we'd have a better someone to fit in rather than risking the young kids or Patrick Roberts. I mean, we had we had Clark, Diaku and Patrick Roberts try to strike us in pre-season and they were awful. They were awful up there. So there's no way they're going to actually be, I don't think they'd be any better now against better quality competition in the championship. So who do we put in there? What? You tell me before we do the preview tomorrow. Give me examples. Who starts up top? What formation do we play do we keep it the same and put somebody else in there but who is it is it the young lad from psg can he actually go a bit further up the field can it be Bennett, or do we stick with roberts or do we bring the youngster in from the under 23s the youngster could there's possibilities but no one can replace ross stewart now moving on to the psg shirt i have checked the answers twice check the answers twice and these are the names in the cup. These are the names in the cup. Here are all the names in the cup. None. Nobody got it right. Nobody got the correct score for Middlesbrough versus Sunderland. Unless I've missed someone. I checked it twice. Only on the preview video. And diddly squat. Nobody. Yes, we're all absolutely useless. So the PSG shirt moves on to the Millwall game. If nobody comes up with... If, if, if I have missed somebody, please let me know. But I will have a look if you tell me it's on the preview video. But obviously, I've, got, I've had a good scout too. Couldn't see one. So for, for my mind, there's nobody won the PSG shirt. And we move on to the Millwall video. So the preview for the Millwall video is tomorrow. And again, like... The last preview video, I'll ask you another question. And you put the answer down if you want to be in with a shout of the win the PSG shirt. So there we go. Preview coming tomorrow. I just please, hopefully. What was that Ross Stewart gets back sooner than later? But was yesterday as bad as all that? Do you actually think yesterday was that bad? Was it that bad? Or was just Middlesbrough bad as well? There you go. Hope you've enjoyed the little update. Nobody's won the PSG shirt. Stuart could be out for a while. Circan, so be better than news. Take care. God bless me. Go, go with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be much appreciated. And back tomorrow night with a, a match preview and a chance to win that PSG shirt for the second time of asking. Cheers. See you later. So, yes, who do we start there for the Saturday's game with Sunderland versus Millwall? And thank you to every single person who watched the live stream last night. Much appreciated. You're all absolute stars.